Welcome to This Week in Gato, where we take a look at the interesting, the awesome, and the weird things being developed this week in the Gato engine. And for 2023, we're taking the favorite project from each week and entering it into a tournament for the best Gato project for the year. So be sure to comment which number project was your favorite this week. And stay tuned to the end of the video to learn the winner of last week's vote. Let the countdown begin. Number eight. You find yourself with 16 other passengers aboard the ocean liner Magnifique, headed for the new world in search for a better life. Unfortunately, you quickly become trapped in a cruel and deadly game of cards. With no option to escape, you are forced to accept your fate and put your life at stake in hopes for salvation. Dance of Cards is a unique blend of poker and tactical RPG gameplay, where you must survive seven days aboard the deadly Magnifique. Explore a ship full of mystery with 16 colorful characters and play your cards right to stay alive. Number 7 A Symmetric Escape is a 3D puzzle exploration game built in the Gato engine. Solve isolated and environmental puzzles about symmetry in order to escape. Sent in by one of our subscribers at stayathomedev.com, the game features retro-inspired 3D visuals and gloomy, eerie atmosphere. With weighted puzzle difficulty and multiple player paths, it's a great little puzzle exploration game and available on Steam right now. And if you have a game you'd like to have showcased, you can send it to me on the stayathomedev.com website and a comment below or follow me on Twitter and message. Number 6 The number 6 spot is another example of how the Gato engine can also be used to create interesting tools and applications. VD Point is a perspective grid program intended for artists to create and export grids as a base for drawing figures, objects, and scenes. In addition to traditional perspective lines, VD Point also utilizes curved converging lines that mimic lens distortion. It's great to see some of the use cases that the Gato Engine provides in addition to games. You can check out VD Point on YouTube and ArtStation. Number 5. Little Ninja is a stealth game set in a suburban house, featuring a young boy named Liam who sneaks around his house going on imaginary adventures as a ninja. The game is designed to make the player feel like a kid again. Using a top-down 2D art style, players must use cover to hide from parents, complete small challenges, and acquire special items to advance the game. Protect your house from evildoers, but be sneaky. You don't want to get caught. Number 4 this week's number four is a bit of a mystery. I couldn't find a ton of information on the game, but the visuals alone were enough reason to showcase this cool game being developed in the Gato engine. Skies Above is described as a 2D action platformer with the soul of launcher games in the body of a roguelite, where players must defend the last Leviathan to reach space. The art style looks very compelling and I'm eager to hear more about this game as it continues to be developed. You can follow their progress too on Twitter. Number three. Cuckoo Cuckoo is about a clock that you spin while you shoot enemies and sometimes yourself. This unique bullet hell game set in a radial world is easy to learn but hard to master. The radial mechanics are very cool and the fact that your own destruction can come around to bite you is somehow deeply philosophical in a way. Cuckoo Cuckoo is available to play for free on itch.io. Number two. At the number two spot is a fun little runner game featuring a very athletic alligator. Sewer Then Later tests the players to time every jump and learn the course to make it all the way to the end of each level. Jump, crouch, and wall jump your way through the obstacles, but watch out for the spikes. You can try Sewer Then Later right now on itch.io. Number one. Our final game, Built in Gato, is all about one of the more hectic events in life, moving. But moving in is not about the stress or worrying about if the movers will arrive on time with your stuff in one piece. It's about relaxing in a cozy environment and decorating the house like you want. A sort of first-person sims, moving in lets players move and interact with plenty of household objects, with no goal, no timer, and no challenges. Just relax and let your inner interior decorator come to life for more cool projects being done in gato be sure to check out this video here and don't forget to vote for your favorite project this week in the comments 
and congrats to last week's winner, Frog Island, earning a place in our 2023 Gato Project of the Year tournament. And I'll be back next week with another This Week in Gato.